Oh, holy, 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 oh no. <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're going to the scariest place of them all, Roblox. Ooh, so spooky! No, uh, so uh, for those of you who don't know, in the wake of the explosive success of the Backrooms here on YouTube, there have been all these fan games that have popped up uh, all across the internet, kind of exploring other people's take on like what it would be like to play through the Backrooms. And anytime there's a popular series, right, people are going to be inspired to kind of do their own fan art, do their own, you know, uh, fan fictions, whatever, and also make their own fan games. And in this case, there's been a lot that have popped up, and a lot that have popped up specifically on Roblox, which is interesting. I think probably because maybe the fandom for the Backrooms is, is uh, you know, players on Roblox. I think it might have to do with the fact that um, Roblox just makes it very easy and very turnkey to make quick games in its ecosystem, which is like what is so cool about it, honestly. Yes, Ash, what? <laughs> People are joining our room. Ash is tickled by some No, of they the... left. They left, <laughs> they, they saw, they're like, this isn't a fun room. <laughs> Ash is tickled by the idea of creating a room and then people join. Do you, do you play many online games, Ash? Is the idea of creating a room in which people join? A new idea for you? I just, we didn't tell anyone that we're making a room, and then they started joining the room, but they join and then immediately leave. Because they're like, oh, it's that map pack guy, get out, GTFO. He's probably filming a video, I don't want to be in his video. Yeah, screw that. Hard pass. He's going to make some cringy content about it. You know, that we boomer, need... boomer map pack. Look, 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 look. Yes. I cringy think content, best content. We need content. to kill cringe culture. Mm. You can you can elab I'm just drinking. I was waiting for you to elaborate. Yeah. That that ain't imagine me as Kermit the Frog being like that ain't none of my business. That's that is what I thought you were getting at. But like So yeah, no, to, please explain. Here, I think it's the internet's way of trying to force people to all act a certain way. And Ooh. if that's not in that sense, then uh -huh. it's cringe. Yeah. Um and like we get this kind of like second hand embarrassment, hmm. but like I think that people just need to like what they like and experience what they experience yeah. and then eventually become like whoever they want to be. Uh -huh. But like shaming people for doing things and like being a little embarrassing as all people are at some point. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know. I just feel like that causes more like mental and emotional harm than good. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know. Cringe culture is just like, if you don't like something, then don't watch it. Yeah. Don't engage with that content. Just let people like what they like. But isn't there... It's interesting because I, I, are, is that early cringe culture? Because like to me, at this point, cringe, cringe is almost celebrated because it like like for me, I've adopted the idea like I'm gonna create cringe stuff and that's great. Like I'm just <laughs> throwing it out there and people are gonna meme it and laugh at it and whatever. And the cringe emboldens me. I was born in the cringe. I have been hardened through the cringe, right? And I get that people who, you know, might not be as thick skinned as I am, you know, <laughs> might it might bother them or whatever. But I don't know, for me, I feel like there's almost a celebration of cringe content at this point where it's like, huh. we, we appreciate it or it, because because I will say this, right? I think, and this is one of the things when we were doing more consulting, we we backed away on consulting brands just because it took a lot of time and brands were frustrating to deal with a lot of times. But to me, one of the things that we would go into those rooms and say is like, embrace the cringe, like embrace the imperfections in this mm -hmm. by you trying to make everything perfect and polished and, and beautiful all the time, you are decidedly making anti-digital content. Yeah. Because... Yeah. Digital content is about warts and all and being relatable and how can you be relatable if you edit out all the all the mistakes, right? Like basically right. those were some of the things that we, we would tell them, right? Like, you know, how can you be authentic when perfection is not authentic kind of yeah. thing. And, and so embracing the imperfection, embracing the cringe is you know, what makes internet content great. And so... No, exactly. Yeah, so I... 
I agree that the the vilification, I guess, or like you know, st having a stigma against like ah oh so cringe you, and and I guess maybe not in the circles that I go through, you know, cringe content is, is kind of like stigmatized or like oh let's make fun of it, but. For me, I think at this point, like there was that era, like when when the term cringe first hit the internet, it felt like it was all this like, oh, let's react, I'll try not to cringe, ah, you know. But now, I feel like there's been a reclaiming of cringe, and a like, hey, we're okay with this. I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm misinterpreting it. No, no, no. I think like, because I'm looking at this through the perspective of someone who engages regularly with like TikTok and now Twitter. Uh huh. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Where yeah, I know it's it's it's. Tragic, um, cringe. <laughs> I mean, ah, even. I mean, TikTok, TikTok's interest, but engaging on, engaging on, you know, you know. Twitter. It's, a, it's you're asking for trouble. But like the thing is that I feel like people going and being like, oh, ew, cringe when they're doing it at, at like kids, yeah, like thirteen year olds. Uh -huh. I don't, like they're thirteen. Sure. Like let people, you know what I mean. It's funny because I see someone pointing at someone else and saying cringe is in and of itself cringe <laughs> like like which is which is funny like i see because it's to me cringe is also dated you know it, it, it feels dated. old and so it's like oh yeah okay boomer yeah like like wah uh 20 what was it i mean like what would it be like 2017 called they want their content back you know yeah, like get over like, it kind of thing stop like trying to make yourself feel cool by pointing at people right. and saying cringe for just making a joke right and, or and for just being a young person on the internet well and, and i feel like and and maybe maybe again everyone approach i think that's what's so complicated about the internet right. nowadays and online content nowadays is everyone is at a different phase of it yeah and so for me I'm at a post cringe phase where I see people calling out cringe and being like, that's that in and of itself is cringe. Yeah. You know, like, okay, yeah, good, good job, good on you. You're still caring about this. Whereas, yeah, I mean, maybe to some people that, that still has meaning to them or, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. And, and the internet is such a multifaceted place at this point, too, that, you know, I think that's one of the reasons why it's so hard to have thoughtful conversations yeah. online at this point because everyone is approaching it with from their specific corner of the internet right. with their specific terminology their specific understanding of, of what content is what isn't isn't acceptable so it's it's tough right and unless you're willing to fully engage in a like hey this is my definition of the term what is your definition of the term well to me cringes like it's hard, you yeah. know, I, I think I think on one hand, there is this expectation of like, oh, we're all citizens online and we all are coming in with the same knowledge base and whatever. No, it couldn't be any further from the truth. Yeah. Right. No. And like, I think the Internet in and of itself has lost its ability to mind their own business. Where oh, man, Ash, Ash is feeling zesty today. Oh, I'm so zesty. I'm on a zest kick. You are. You're you're super zesty as of late. Uh -huh. I know. So, I know. It's just like. You don't need to comment and like tell people that they suck all the time. Well, you know. I mean, well, I mean that is <laughs> welcome to ever since because I uh, the old grandpappy Matt Pat remembers <laughs> when Facebook started the whole like what's your status update thing and I'm like who 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 cares like yeah. who cares what you're doing in the moment like I who cares if I'm I'm eating dinner yum I'm like I don't care and and so. <laughs> the internet and social media in particular started the whole like everything everything that you say and do matters to every like broadcast it out there because everything matters and i think that was i mean that started us down the downward slope of like yeah. well i'm gonna judge I, ev everything i do is going to be judged by other people and likewise everything you do is going to be judged by them and and you have to broadcast it constantly yeah like I, th I think that is that was a dangerous thing to open up where now everything is open to criticism and comment. Right. And just watch, watch on this video, there's gonna be people saying that we are cringe. Good, let them, please, yeah. welcome. Please tell us that we're cringe. I mean, MatPat playing Roblox? I mean, I, I could, I could, cringe. like I said, I am, I am leaning into the cringe. Cringe but also, compilation. But, but also they won't, because guess what? You know, the GT Lab community is great. No, y'all are they're awesome, precious, right? and I'll protect you with everything I've got. Nice. I, I mean, I mean, this is also the person who lost a battle to a fruit fly, so take that for what it that is. That is not true. That is not true. I did kill him. 
Please clip that out of context and just use that audio clip wherever you see fit. Not true. I did kill him. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Ash just c continues to commit crime yeah. and just and just continues to give us evidence about the level of crime that you're you're committing. All right. <laughs> So, uh, without any further ado, this is a Roblox Backrooms mod that was making rounds, I believe 8-Bit Ryan, that's where we first got exposed to playing it, but it seems like it's made the rounds to a lot of different people. Yep, yep. Um, so this, it, link is down in the description below. Uh, it is a mod of another kind of existing game, but it, now it's been kind of wrapped up or enveloped in the, the, the vibe of the Backrooms, right? So, as I understand it, su survive and explore the Backrooms. You know, in, in, in absence of Kane Pixels, we will find our own Backrooms content. And so here we go. Uh, so let's start. And so we'll, it's a lull. Oh, well, they left. No, they, they left. Understand. Attempting to teleport. It might take a couple seconds. Yeah, teleporting takes a little bit of time. Yeah, here it is. So here we go. Enter the Backrooms. Ooh, Monochrome Studios. That's more than one color. <laughs> I mean, the bulk of it is in the yellow palette. There was white. Man, Z white. They painted it yellow and then they left the background white. But that's not monochrome. Man, Ash is just <laughs> taking umbrage with everything. Cringe. So, Camera here, oh. rolling. Action. Oh, we are literally just recreating the back room. Oh, this is the All first right, upload cut, of Keen Pixel cut. series. That was good. That was good, guys. Uh, yeah, that was good. Also, I'm thinking we get a wide angle and we're done, all right? Yeah. Okay, how much? Uh, a little more. Get a no clip. Whoa. Wow. Oh, that's awesome, man. Oh, so this is like trying to be a canon. Crouch, toggle flashlight, equip, unequip camera. Whistle. Oh, I can whistle. Uh, I can lean, use the camera, zoom in and out, space jump. Yeah, left shift. Okay, sprint. Okay. Okay, great. Toggle flashlight. Perfect. B. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out, friends. Let's explore the back rooms. Ooh. I don't want to die here. I have to find the exit. Okay, it seems like I have fairly infinite sprint. I want to hum, whistle. Man, <laughs> my whistling could stand to use a little bit of uh, help. Can just, you whistle? Just whistle a happy tune. Ah, that classic whistling jam. But you can whistle like... I'm not a good whistler. Stephanie is a phenomenal whistler. I will say that. My whistle is a little bit weak. Uh, Beyond... Oh, I saw something over there. No. <laughs> My whistle's very oh. airy and very... Oh. Oh. My buddy's <laughs> taking some close-up shots of the wallpaper and the scenery. Hey, bud. Hey, let me pose. Woo! Catch me when I'm jumping. Also... Also, you might want to take off your lens cap, bud. Look, take off, take off the lens cap. Is it off? Stop turning away from me. I think it's off. Is it off? It is. He is. Oh wait. Oh, oh what the what? Oh! Oh, it was just an outlet. I need. I need to recharge. I need to recharge my devices. Oh, that was so scary. I do appreciate the inclusion of uh, multiple power outlets in the back rooms. A, I didn't know that that would also be auto-generated by the AI, but sure. Okay. Power outlet. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> writing on the wall! <laughs> it's just writing on the wall. Let's take a picture. There you go. I like your friend. Right, he's, he's hanging out. He's, he's a champ, man. Hey, bud. Oh yeah, it is off. Good on you. Okay, so it's telling me to go this way. Nope, this is back the way we came. So probably not that way. What do we got? 
Don't leave, don't leave me. It's just me and Supersonic. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, hello, oh, okay, nope, nope, hard, hard, nope, hard, nope, no! Oh, jeez, oh! Oh, he an angry boy. You are dead. Oh, jeez, I only have four lives left. Okay, I gotta actually... There, there are stakes here, Ash. I could die and lose, and that would be tragic. How do you like your stakes, Matt? Medium rare. Oh my god, same. Mid rare. Your friend sent you a friend request. He did. Accept it. I, you know, I don't know, man. Why? I, I don't know if I'm ready for that level of commitment. Friendship? <laughs> We barely know each other. He was taking he was taking really awkwardly close pictures of he, the wall, you know. Like is that is that someone that we wanted to turn? Like he, he was taking pictures of the wall like this. Maybe he knows something. <laughs> he might. Maybe he maybe does. he read the yellow wallpaper. <laughs> maybe he understands the game better than I do. That's very accurate. Actually, ooh, red lights. I feel like the colored lights might be leading us to something. It's very helpful of the designers of the back rooms to lead me around. Wow, this is enormous. You, where's the exit? Uh-oh. Uh, why, why did my vision turn yellow temporarily? Last time I started seeing colors, there was a monster and he slaughtered me as I hit around a corner. Oh, this, this way? I don't believe you. Can I face through? No. Can't take a picture though. Smile. Okay. Why is it called no clipping? Why can't you yes clip? <laughs> Just say yes clip to no clipping. That's what I always say. Um, yes and clip. Why is it called no clipping actually? I'm not, I'm not 100%, that's a, it's a good question. Hey ladder, hey, I found a ladder. Can I, can I use it? Can I pick it up? I would love to keep the ladder. Apparently not. Well, it's present. It's there. Maybe at some point it'll be... Maybe at some point we'll just... Great. It exists. Hmm. Uh, no, I'm not 100% sure why it's specifically called no clipping. You could look it up though. And you can tell me. You can educate all of us. Why specifically no clipping? Uh. <laughs> what do you mean, uh? I mean, I could. What, what, what better things do you have to do here, Ash? Um, Ooh. monitor the audio. <laughs> Guess what? Your eyes can monitor a wiki page. <sighs> and your ears can monitor the audio. <laughs> you're being zesty right back. I, am I being zesty? I think you're being a little zesty right now, Matt. Oh, so oh my. Mm. No. No, thank you. I, I feel like I'm on the outer edge. Yes, I don't want to die here. I have to find it. No, yes. So apparently the bacteria is not the only thing that we have to worry about in the back rooms. But there is also Rainbow Lord. Uh-oh. I'm starting to get hazy. Oh, oh shoot, 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 shoot. Uh-oh, where? I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I don't. S where? Same up though. Oh! Oh no! 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 Oh! Shoot! <laughs> oh man! I'm never. I'm never escaping this, am I? I'm. I'm trapped in the back rooms forever. Where did it respawn me? Oh, hello. Oh. I have to find an exit, but what is that? Okay, so we're looking for, yep, hole in wall. I mean, that makes sense. So no clipping is actually an older term Okay. from the PC, OG PC gamers. And it's a cheat command that allows you to just kind of like fly around and walk through items sure, because uh -huh. collisions are disabled. Uh huh. So Maybe. no, no colliders. Sure. Only vibes. 
<laughs> yes. But why is it, why clipping in particular? Uh, Again, like that, I think that to me was, because I know the, I know what the term means where you're just kind of like phasing through reality, right? But why would it be no clip, like what is clip? Like to clip something as in to like hit it? Like I clipped it with my shoulder? Is that what we're talking about here? That, that is what I'm most curious about. Shoot. There was an arrow. And I feel like I followed the arrow. Clipping in the context of computer graphics is a method to selectively enable or disable rendering op operations within a defined region of interest. Well, there you go. I feel like I'm on the outer ring. Oh, God. This is scary. And the fact that you have a limited number of lives, it, it, it presents a level of stakes that a lot of modern games don't have anymore because there's no penalty for death. Oh. But now there's penalties for death, which makes it feel all the more intense. Can I squeeze through here? Clipping is the intersection of two objects in computer graphics such that one obscures the geometry of the other, concealing it from view. And when there's no clipping, you can just pass through it and see what's beyond. Hey, there you go. See? Nice. And now we know why it was called clipping. Yeah. Good. Oh, here we go. We got an arrow. Okay, this arrow's telling me to go this. Yes! Hey! Okay, can't go. <laughs> See ya! Moving on! Got it. Look at that. Who survived the back rooms? This. Wait, what? This isn't the exit? Where am I? Oh, man. Thought I got it. Shoot. I'm like a beat the back rooms. Thanks, guys. That was a short one. This is good. This is legitimately like very scary. Ooh. Oh no, and it just got scary. <laughs> oh no, no, industrial pipe. I don't know what it is about industrial like basements and pipes and stuff that are so terrifying. But man, is it unsettling. Maybe it's all the trauma we have as a society from the industrial revolution. <laughs> wow. Maybe. I, I don't I don't know why I said that. Maybe that is what it is. Maybe that's what it was the whole time. Ash, you're so right. I don't know what it you know when words just kind of happen out of you mm -hmm. and then you take a moment and sit with yourself and you're like, why? Who did that? You you did that. It, I, it was a very strong assertion. It, it was an inter it's an interesting hypothesis to be sure. Well I I, I appreciate that. Okay, where are we at? Uh oh. Okay, so we got star. That was a very long hallway. What's this? Turn. Okay, you need to do something. To, I need to do something to get out of here. So I need to turn this wheel six times or turn six wheels to unlock the star. Banana. The star banana. Okay, turn a wheel six times or turn six. I need to find all six valves. Oh, great. How about this? How would I? No, that's where I came out of. So I need six valves. Oh, here's a valve. Do you need to rotate? So there's one. Nice. One valve. I'm getting some. Ooh, hello. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. I get to run underwater this time. That's nice. Uh, there's one valve. Here, I see a light to valve number two. Okay. Two valves. I'm getting some strong Slenderman vibes with this one. Anytime there's like, collect six of this thing, collect four of this thing. The middle of the woods. Watch out for the Slenderman. Do you remember that song where it was Slenderman saying he just wants a friend and then he starts tap dancing? I, I, I feel like I would remember Slenderman tap dancing. The fact that I don't, it, I feel like I've missed out on a key part of of life, honestly. I guess I have to add that to the syllabus. Oh, oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, it's like a giant spider creature. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, is there more than one? Oh, no. Oh, everyone knows how I feel about spiders. Oh, I hate spiders so much. It's got many long legs. And those legs are coming after me. I, I'll rather, I would rather take bacteria monster any day. Any day. So the six valves are going to lead me back to this thing? I don't know what the star has to do with that, but sure. 
or what the what the star and the valves have to do with each other, but sure, okay. That looks like it might be a valve over there. Let's let's get that one. Oh man, we're gonna be here for a long time looking for these valves. Especially if I start getting chased by things. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh come on. Nope. No. Turn turn the valve. There we go. <laughs> Just gotta reach. Okay, that's three. So we're doing good so far. We've got three. Oh my god! What is that thing? That's not a spider creature or a, a bacteria. It's like, like I said, Rainbow Lord or whatever this thing is. What is it though? Just like, hey, I'm the, I'm your resident jump scare. Are you getting calm? You're not feeling on edge enough? You need to boost your heart rate for a little bit? Well, I'm here to help. I have to get out of here. This is accurate. I do need to get out of here. Oh my gosh. I also love the fact that every, uh oh. I heard the whistling sound. I heard some whistling, but there's no one else here. The fact that I heard whistling and no one else is here is very alarming to me. That is not okay. Someone was whistling a not so happy tune. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Come on, need some valves. Still looking for three. There are so many of these things. Okay, excellent. Gonna go around the corner here. Dive underwater. Mm. Still not seeing any spider creatures or bacteria, so we're okay. Ooh. What is this? Collecting one simulation core? What? <laughs> simulation cores? Oh no! So I guess this person uh, who, who made this game, Monochrome Studios or whatever it was, they ascribed to the, oh yeah, this is all just a computerized simulation. And it's it's computers trying to recreate what normal life and normal humans do, I guess. Okay, we're at three. Here's, I see a fourth. I'm not seeing any monsters, so I'm just gonna make a run for it real quick. I love that it's just randomly here in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Great. That's four. Oh, okay, leap over the water. Can I just leap over the water? That might help. Oh, this is, there are so many nooks and crannies and everything looks so similar. There's a little, look at this. I'm not seeing. I feel like I'm close to where those spiders were originally, and at this point, clearly they. Oh, there's one. Oh, here's a red door. Oh, what is this? What? Oh, what is this? Is this what we're hoping to unlock? Maybe. Oh, wild! There's like an elevator. Okay, this is number five. So we've got one more after this. Here we go. One more. Ash, do you have the fear of water that a lot of people tend to have? Nope. No? Oh! Do you have the fear of rainbow guys popping out of nowhere in the middle of a, a dark, water-soaked uh, basement? No. No? Not that one either, huh? Mm -mm. Okay, well. Well, I could outswim rainbow guys for sure. Could you? Yeah, I used yeah. to be a competitive swimmer. Oh man, well, there you go. So that's six. I'm gonna go back to the red zone, actually. I, I love the fact that there's a, a blaring horn right now that's clearly alerting things to my general direction. That makes me feel real good. Yes, it's green, okay, good, good. I'm glad that we found all the valves that were like right next door. Is this okay? Am I holding my breath this whole time? I feel like I'm gonna have the sonic like drowning music playing in a second. Can I get up? Can I get up? Okay. Up, 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 up. 
Ooh, hi. Oh, the sewer system. So yeah, not not afraid of water. That's good. I nope. I was never particularly afraid of water either. I think that helps when you're a confident swimmer. Okay. How are you uh, about dropping down to unreasonable pits? That'll probably break your legs. You see that? That's a little more concerning for me. All right. Well, prepare to be concerned. Woo! Oh. <laughs> YOLO! No, oh, oh, I guess not. Actually, we'll just slowly descend. <laughs> apparently, apparently in the back rooms, you can also now oh, it's walk- it's a ladder. Wait, what? There's no ladder? Oh. This is- <laughs> there's no ladder here! <laughs> I'm literally just- <laughs> Just walking- oh! And there, <laughs> there it is! What is this place? Ah! Poop. Uh-oh. Where are we at now? Oh no, we're back in the back. Oh, we're back in the yellow rooms. You kidding me? I escaped the sewer system. We were doing so well. Oh, this is exactly from the series. So Kane, our resident hero. Oh, someone's taking a shower. We're just gonna, hey, hey, if you're taking a shower, you should shut the door. Just pro tip. If you don't want anyone bothering you in the, in the bathroom, just shut the door, man. Also, put down the toilet seat. What are you, some sort of animal? <laughs> some sort of barbarian? What is this? Uh, I'm holding up... I'm holding up a stethoscope or an oyster or in a the style of Zelda. Chicken. What's that? A rotisserie chicken? Or a rotisserie chicken. Ba -da -da -da, like Link. And there's a lot of windows, boxes behind me. If I'm thinking about the back rooms, the original upload of back rooms, the first one, that there's that external courtyard where there's a bunch of rooms. So maybe that's where he is. Ba -na -na -na. Can I explore this area? Okay, this is gonna lead me. Oh, cool. I am glad that we get to check this out, actually. This is in the original back rooms video. That was like one of the coolest details that kind of got ignored. Anything in here before we leave? Ooh, wait a minute. Simulation core. Cool. Awesome. I hope that this is actually a thick... Maybe this is, you know, on the down low, this is actually, like, associated with the official series, in which case maybe maybe in the series we'll see some actual simulation cores. Oh, yeah, this is... Ex oh, this is exactly like it was in the, in the video. This is awesome. So we got to get out there and hold up our rotisserie chicken. And from there, we'll have beaten the level. Perfect. Matt Pat used rotisserie chicken. It was super successful. It was super effective. All right. This one isn't too maze-like yet. We're doing fine. Totally cool. Hmm. I don't know, man. Can I? Do I, do I leap? Do I? Do I leap? Is that just a leap? Did I win? Am I winning? Does that count? It does count as winning. I was gonna say, hey, if I could walk down walls at the end of the last one, then presumably I can make a big jump like that. That was cool. I mean, that was directly out of the, the original upload. Okay, so now... Hello? This way? Somehow I doubt it. Some tells me. Don't, oh geez, don't look, listen. Great. There's one thing we're really good at here on GT Not Live. It is listening while we're playing video games. Something tells me. So see no evil, speak Ooh. no evil, but stay listening. Okay, I must find keys and watch out for dogs. <laughs> watch out for dogs and find keys and listen. Wait, well now, ooh, hello. Oh man, this is closed off, what's this? I need to activate all the buttons beyond this gate. Oh geez, so we need keys, buttons, and we need to use our ears. This is just like a worst case scenario for us right now. Also, I'm curious, what's, what? Oh, 
this was just a complete troll. Like, I can't, I can't get in at all. I let go. Let me, before we move on to what appears to be the gameplay portion. So maybe this opens if we do everything. Maybe that's what we have to do. All right, so let's... Got your ears ready, Ash? Yep. Okay. The game audio is even pulled up. No way. Yes, way. Oh, I hear someone whistling. That's that's the distinctive sound of a person whistling. Ooh. Oh. Is that my heartbeat? Or something? <laughs> Nope, my heartbeat's getting up, back up again. Nope, no thanks. Oh, I can see. Hey! Oh, hi. Oof, that was super loud. Ooh. Holy, oh, 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 oh no. Oh, 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 oh. oh, wow, that was a, that was a jump scare. Oh, wow. <sighs> Ash and I both, that, that, that affected us. At a deep level, that affected us. Wow, he, he's a fast one and he's aggressive. All right, let's find some keys. Let's try that again. Use our ears. Okay, man, he doesn't give you much time either. Like, look at that. Yeah, he walked away, but he's gonna come back, right? I guess not. Oh, nope, no. Nope. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think he's coming back. I don't know what his pathing is. But he should be getting close. There he is. I see him. And he's just hanging out, living his best life. Oh, there he goes. No thanks. Please leave. Good. Oh, man, he does not give you a second. Okay. Also, can. This is intense. Also, can these drawers be any taller? It's like, ah! Uh, it's like Ollie trying to open up the top door, drawer of his dresser right now. Like, ah! Uh, uh, I can't get up to the top! That's, that's how Ollie's voice is. I can't get up to the top! Okay, what do we got here? We got sideways dresser. No, that doesn't work. Kidding me? Oh, oh my gosh, thank goodness I checked a bunch. Okay. Oh boy! Nope! How many keys do I need? I like that his gestures were like all oh, this wet.
grand old time back here. He's being real thorough. He's like, someone left my drawers open. This is not my organizational system. Oh, come on. Is he caught? I think he's caught on geometry. But I can't get out. If I get out, he's going to jump scare me, right? Man, am I caught between a rock and a hard place. Or should I say, a locker and a bacteria monster. <laughs> Hashtag relatable, am I right? Yeah, he is. He is. Is that? As soon as I get out, he's gonna kill me. Right. He's questioning his life decisions. He's he's got real strong feelings about, you know, the interior design of the back rooms. Oh, oh! He decided to move. But I know the layout of this room, and that is a dead end that he would very quickly be able to chase me in. So, really, <laughs> was, it, was that him sniffing or was that me sneezing? What was that? <laughs> Just some aggressive sniffing happening. I'm confused. What was the aggressive sniff? Ah, well. <laughs> Don't make a sound. Don't worry. My pat, my airways are clear right now. I'm good. I, th I think I think I need to get out of here. I know I'm like freaking out, but also he just farted in the in the in his own locker and he's like the smell. Should, should, I, should I get out? Is he caught? He can, somehow he keeps moving. I'm gonna get out. I think we just gotta do it. I think we gotta just make the call. I don't love it. Uh, yeah, I figured. I figured. At a certain point, there's only so long that I can wait in a locker sniffing my own farts. <laughs> I got one life left. Okay, after this, we might have to call it. Oh! We were doing so well, too. I was impressed that we got through level two without dying. We did get a key. How many do we need? And also, did the key keep? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, hello. He's already there. Well, cool. Well, great. Peek! 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 No? Hey, I have a great idea. How about you go into that dead end hallway and stay there for like the 20 minutes that you did the last time? That, that would be great, because you were there for a decade and a half. And it was wonderful for, you know, if I had been exploring outside of that area, but the fact that I was trapped in that area did not help my case at all. Also, can I hide out on top of there? Like, do you think you can still get me? Sniff, sniff. Okay, there. Oh, there's... Oh, jeez. Please let the key not be in the top door at some point. Yes. Do you think the game will let me know when I've gotten enough keys? I think it'll be like, we got all the keys. I guess it did, because the last time uh, when we got all the valves... It let us know about the valves. Jeez. So tense. There are so many drawers in each of these things. And you can't, and the thing is, you don't want to miss the, like, one that's hidden on top, because then you'll never get back there. You'll be like, I've explored everything. Okay, nope. Okay. Out in that. Oh, oh. Nope, no, 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 no. Hide. Maybe? So I've got two. He doesn't seem to be around. I think we're still safe. Come on. Can I face through it and just see? Okay, nothing. 
from there. Top one here. I must get out. Yes, I know. I must get out of here. Yes, thank you, Captain Obvious. I must linger here and continue to be slaughtered by the enemy. That's a strategy for you. Okay, not there. It doesn't look like. Ooh, hello, workbench. Suspicious workbench. Locker. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these. Oh. Are we safe? Are we safe? My heart was beating. I really need to not stop skipping cardio day. Nope. We're gonna hide. Just because we got two, I... What was that? Oh no. No thanks. Do not want. I hear him. There it is. Now he's close. <laughs> sniff, sniff! I must not make a sound! Oh, I have to get out of here, I say to myself. Fine. Okay, these are not options. That is an option. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. There's a phone. Go, 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 go. Where's he at? The fact that I don't know is terrifying. And this is the last life, so like stakes are high. Also, there was a phone. Shoot, is he? Okay, so he's definitely in the front. Oh, he's he is close. He is close. But I don't know where he is. Where are you at, buddy? D did I get all the keys? Where is he? It would make me feel so much better if my heart was racing and I had an idea of where he is, but I don't know where he is! Oh, the back rooms! So furious! So tense! Shoot, am I gonna have to bop out again? And he's like trapped back there or something? Oh, come on. I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta do it. <laughs> sniff, sniff! Sniff! Did I get enough keys? Yes, I, I'm, I'm, I am so concerned for the cardiac health of my character right now. The, here's the spoiler alert, friends. I guarantee the key is back there in that room that we got, where we died last time. I also guarantee that he is probably back there. That is why my heart's racing, but we're not seeing him. It's because he's literally on the other side of that door. That's my... Oh! Wait, was that him phasing through the wall? Might be phase two. Every time he roars, like my perspective shifts a little bit. It's very alarming. Did he did he phase into the, the, the wall? Is he I think he's here. I have to be here. I think he is. I I, I almost guarantee that the keys. Oh, okay, yeah, there it is. <sighs> All right. Dead. We've died. We can't. I don't have 40 Roblox to spend, Robux to spend, unfortunately. We have died. Oh, man. That was 
Fantastic. That was really good. I am legitimately very scared. And that was really unsettling. That last section where you're having to just s skate around and sneak and be sneaky boy. Woo, doggy. Oh, the heart's racing. You know what, Ash? I think we started today thinking that we were going to be cringe, but by the end of today, I think we ascended beyond cringe. I think we ascended. What's what's beyond cringe, Matt? Fringe? Fringe. Yeah, we're, we're fringe. Were we edgy? We're fringe content now. Yeah, that's it. Oh. I think we were always... <laughs> Spoiler alert! Us doing videos online about video games, covering Roblox mods, <laughs> covering Roblox mods, and specifically Roblox mods of the back rooms, an online creepypasta horror series that started as like a uh, like a SCP sort of thing. It's not cringe. Not not fringe at all. It might it might not be cringe. Probably is fringe, but that's okay. That's yeah. the best kind of fringe. Exactly. That's that's good fringe. We're in the cool fringe right now. Yeah. I just think of cool fringe as like someone with a cowboy jacket and like fringe hanging off. It's like, that's some cool fringe right oh, there. Oh, I'm thinking about like fringe theater. Oh, all, all theater at this point is pretty fringy. Yeah. A lot of it. Sounds like most of your uh, theater history is pretty fringe as well. Yeah. I'll, one day I'll tell you. One day it. we'll tell that story. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining us as we journeyed through the back rooms. And as always, go hide in a locker. Be careful not to sniff too loud. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!